Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. You're still tuned in to The Lowdown. Now, I'm excited because my next guest, I definitely remember him from my childhood, and I can't wait to talk to him. He's an actor, writer, and producer. Y'all give it up for Norman D. Golden. Yes, the second. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. What's up, Norman? <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Man, I can't complain at all. I'm doing really good. First off, thank you so thank much you. for being on the show today, man. Thank you so much. Now, thank you I know, for having me. No, it's my pleasure. Now, people are looking at that face right now, and they're looking like, hey, man, I know that guy from somewhere, <laughs> especially people my age. I know you get this all the time, but you are definitely an actor, and we remember you best from a, a movie that you did with Burt Reynolds, you know, a little unknown actor. <laughs> they took a chance on him, <laughs> and uh, you were in a movie yep. called Cop in a Half, man. We're going to clap for that. Yep. Remember and love that film, man. Thank you for being here today. This makes me smile in my soul, bro. Now, I wanted to ask you, now, what did you learn? Uh, what's one of the things you learned when you were uh, actually doing acting as a child actor? Because that's different. Um, I learned that it's work. <laughs> I mean, as fun as, <laughs> as fun as it is, like, there is definitely a heavy work element to it mm -hmm. as well. Um, but, you know, it definitely boost you know um your work ethic at a young age um okay. and your commitment to whatever it is that you you know desire to do and so you know having done cop and a half at such a young age i was eight when we you know finished um production nine when it came out so <clears throat> from there that was like the beginning of my career so it was an awakening of some sorts like okay is this something that you really want to do and you know obviously the answer is yes mm -hmm. um for me because you know i kept 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 going kept going absolutely yeah. Now, I got to say, I'm impressed because you were so young and you were eight years old. You already were working. You did something that every parent wish they could do. Make your child go to work. <laughs> go to work. Get, yes. a, get a job. <laughs> but it does change things because as a parent, you can't tell them, well, do you pay any bills around here? Your answer, yes. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> do. <laughs> Call your mama by her first name, Linda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on now. Hold on, no, no. Hey. don't get crazy. Don't get you know, crazy. Some communities like, okay, huh? You uh, might uh, pay you... bills, but uh, you're still the child. Child, there you go, man. Yeah. Now, I wanted to ask you: as you got older, did that love continue for acting? Did it change at all? Oh, absolutely. If nothing else, um, it grew. It grew into okay. you know my uh, you know my love for just the 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 art in general, um, which for me means, you know, learning how to write and then eventually producing, you know, my own uh, short films and, and, you know, now other, you know, moving on to bigger projects. So, yeah, definitely it, it intensified, if anything. And I love the fact you pointed out, because a lot of people don't realize this, when they watch movies or, or any kind of TV or any kind of um, production, it's real work. It's not that oh, short yeah. hour and a half or two hours you see on screen. It is okay. weeks. It is months. It is painstaking. It's a room full of people working. Half and a half that was goal. shot in three, three and a half months. It took Woo! for us to shoot a 90 minute film. Film. People yeah. just don't know. I love the fact you bring it up. It's work. It's a real mm -hmm. job out here, man. But having said that, yeah. would you have changed anything along your journey, along your path of being an actor? Would you have went back and did anything different? Not a thing. Um, I feel like, you know, to change anything in the past or, you know, it's, it's kind of like negating your, you know, your natural progression or progress as as, as a human being, as a person. Amen. So, you know, I, I just don't believe in that. It's like, you know, my steps are ordered. Everything that is for me will be for me. And I just need to kind of, you know, relax into that, um, into that understanding and very real uh it's not an idea. It's like a very real thing. Like you, you know, we're, we are moving where we are. We are where we're supposed to be. I should say. That's right. So everything that yeah, you've experienced along your journey has made you the person that you are today. So without those That's experiences, it, right there. yeah, I'm with you, man. Yeah. I'm with you, man. We're going to write something together. Yes, we are. <laughs> we're going to write something. Together, we can do bro. that brother. Collaboration. There you go. I like <laughs> it. Now, can you tell everybody at home what new projects you're currently working on so we can definitely look out for them? Yeah, so I have a feature film in development. Um, it's called Hood Adjacent. Uh, the, the working title is Hood Adjacent. Um, 
it's you know touches on the gentrification um it's a, it's ah. actually it's a comedy it's a comedy satire a little bit but it, it touches okay. on the you know the gentrification issue which is a you know a major issue in our communities Absolutely. in the united states specifically um so that mm-hmm. i think that'll be a fun project um and then also i have a a television show that's also in development um entitled the kid and you you guessed it it's about a former child actor okay growing up um he was once a kid and now he's an adult and you know and i'm just kind of navigating um you know how to deal with like you mentioned you know being having a recognizable face but not necessarily like all over the place but you know still very loved by you know core fan base and you know people alike you know so i think that's that uh, gives me an opportunity to share, you know, my story and, and what's what's been kind of happening because that that is a common qu- question as well. Like, well, what have you been doing? With, you know, what's up with you? Have exactly. seen you? We love you. We want to see you. So it's like, boom. Well, here here you go. Yeah. I love that, man. Hey, we're gonna clap for all that. Hey, <laughs> you. you out here working, sir? Yes, yes, yeah, sir. You yes, yeah, sir. you are. Now, all the people at home uh, who enjoyed you, man, growing up, and they want to currently follow you and support you as well, can you please share with them your social media so we can do that? Absolutely. So, very simple. Facebook, Norman Golden Second. Instagram, Golden Child II, all lowercase. Bro, when you come to Orlando, you got to promise me that you'll come back on the show, but you'll be in studio when you do. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Brother, thank yeah. you so much for being here today, man. Had nothing. Yo! Yes! Yes! Oh, yo! Oh! What? Oh, me? Yes. <laughs> All for you. All for you. <laughs> thank y'all so much. Yeah. Mike, they love us. They are prepaid. They, All right, nice. There you go. Yeah. I will pay you back. Sure. Never. But All thank right. you. Sure.